people don't realize they're going on vacation. They're walking around. They're doing a bunch of stuff. They're in the sun. They're getting vitamins from the sun. And, oh, my skin looks better and felt better. Well, yeah, because you're staying indoors normally. Now you're on vacation, so you're walking around. You're exercising. You're, you're, you know, you're actually doing stuff that you're not normally doing because there's nowhere to walk around here. Nobody walks anywhere here. So, of course, you're going to lose weight. Not saying that it's not the food. The, the food has a lot to do with it. A lot. How's it going, guys? We're going to be checking out some culture shocks that Americans experienced when they traveled to Europe. So more specifically, we have the video by the channel Knock Knock, and the video is called Americans Who Travel to Europe Share 50 Culture Shocks That They Experienced, in parentheses, this says new pics. So we're going to check this out. These videos are always great. So links down below for the original video, as always, and let's check it out. You can drink a beer anywhere, anytime. I mean, I woke up in Berlin and bought a bottle of beer at a small breakfast stand in a park. It was like 6 a.m. Well, Germany has a, a, a huge uh, beer culture. Europe in general, really. Um, and Americans, you know, it, it, our culture is different. It's weird. The amount of public transportation and in many places, people not driving or even or not even knowing how to drive. So that's definitely going to be a culture shock to an American for sure. Because we don't have public transportation here. It's almost non-existent. So, yeah, to see somebody, an another country, you know, like, how are they able to do these things? How young the U.S. truly is. It's not, it shouldn't be, that's not a culture, is that a culture shock? That's just like, they just realized once they got there, they had lack of education. Like, oh, well, I didn't realize America was so young. It's not the only young country. This one says you hear about how big the Roman Empire was and all the advanced building tech they had, but it doesn't really sink in until you see it with your own eyes. No, they didn't go over there and see the whole Roman Empire. They absolutely did not. They, they, they saw some stuff like this in the picture. That's not the, the grand scope of the Roman Empire, I guarantee you that. It's just one small spot. I went to Europe. I drank all the booze, ate all the food, stayed two months and lost 200 pounds. Americans aren't overweight because we're lazy or gluttons or anything else. We're overweight because we are being fed shit. True. But he didn't drink. He says, I drank all the booze, ate all the food. Still lost 20 pounds. That's funny. Yeah, it's because of all the chemicals and all the crap that's in our food. Like, I, bar I barely eat and I'm gaining weight. It's crazy. For me, it was how well I was taken care of as an artist. In America, a musician is treated like help at the bar. You're paid whatever the minimum amount they can possibly give you is. You might get two to four drink tickets. In Europe, they respected you. They fed you, found you places to sleep, free drinks, and I've said. I agree. If you're an artist, you should be, you know, if you're going to a venue to perform, take care of that artist. Why, would, why wouldn't you? I was in Switzerland for a few days. I felt like the fattest person in the country at six foot, 210 pounds. It was also amazing to me that it felt like two different countries going from Geneva to Zurich. The language went from French to German with the architecture completely different between the two cities. Absolutely beautiful country. I didn't know they spoke any French in Switzerland, actually. I knew they spoke some German. It's like a Swiss German dialect or whatever, right? How much better all the food was. Everything was fresh, made from minimal ingredients, and most of it was grown or g grown locally, going from U.S. to France. I also lost about 15 pounds, even though I stopped exercising in a gym. Also, my skin and hair looked better than ever. I think preservatives and high fructose corn syrup might actually be bad for you. Well, it sure is. Another thing people don't realize, they're going on vacation. They're walking around. They're doing a bunch of stuff. They're in the sun. They're getting vitamins from the sun. And, oh, my skin looks better and felt better. Well, yeah, because you're staying indoors normally. Now you're on vacation, so you're walking around. You're exercising. You're, you're, you know, you're actually doing stuff that you're not normally doing. Because there's nowhere to walk around here. Nobody walks anywhere here. So, of course, you're going to lose weight. Not saying that it's not the food. The, the food has a lot to do with it. A lot. You know, and it's like, oh, even though I stopped exercising in the gym, that don't matter. You're walking around. You're a tourist looking at stuff you're walking you're, you're doing a lot of exercise trust me i followed a tour of american tourists into the church in downtown question gets asked is is this the oldest church in town 
And I heard the reply. Somebody chuckled and said, oh, no, the old church is on the north side of the river. This church was built in 1310. <laughs> it's a different perspective on history. Well, that's pretty, pretty damn old, too. But wow. The age of all the buildings walked into a pub in the UK with a plaque that read something like this. Building was constructed in the year two and was used by monks to fend off dinosaurs. Maybe not the exact words, but you get it. Okay, okay, sure. Bit of an, a bit of an exaggeration there for sure. <laughs> I was not ready for how many overwhelmingly beautiful ancient buildings and cities I saw in only two weeks. I actually couldn't fathom what I was looking at. It was a surreal experience, like I was really in touch with a completely different era of humanity. There's absolutely nothing like this in America. It blew me away and made me really care much more about European history, urban planning, and architecture. That is correct. Nobody's ready. It's like you, you see it on TV, but when, you know, when you're actually there, I can imagine. I've never been to Europe, unfortunately. These culture shocks aren't very funny. I thought they were going to be funny. They're just regular culture shocks. Interesting still. I thought we were going to laugh today. We're not laughing unless people's laughing at me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the amount of casual nudity on TV. I had to chuckle at all the naked breasts frequently visible. Europeans are just healthier in their views of sexuality and nudity. We Americans are just ridiculous prudes by comparison. Oh, and Belgian chocolate is better than sex often. Yeah, well, maybe. Belgian chocolate's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good for sure. The infrastructure there continued evolving and is modern. It really takes leaving to understand how the United States has barely done anything to make transportation or infrastructure better since the 70s. It's like we're still living in the past. No, that's 100% true uh, because our government here in the United States doesn't care about infrastructure. They care about taking over the world and building bombs and stuff and, you know, paying for massive amounts of armies to do things and i don't know i'm not gonna i'm not a political channel so <laughs> how small things were like appliances paper towels toilet paper i really wanted to take that idea home with me it makes so much sense toilet paper was small i i kind of like a i like the size that i have right now any smaller i'm not sure the job's gonna get done right i want i want my toilet paper to stay the same i don't know is there a different in size like different sizes of toilet paper in different countries? That's an interesting thought. Never thought about that before. It says also how conveniently close shops were. So we only drove when visiting other cities. I love it and I want it. Me too, guys. Me too. Well, anyways, that's enough of that. If you want to watch the rest of this video, see what the rest of these culture shocks are, you're going to have to check out the rest of the video. Right there it is. I hit subscribe. I hit like on it. You could go do that too because like I said, the original video link is in the description section down below. You guys have a super fun, awesome day. Put your comments down of your culture shocks and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.